And we are off ang newest teams natin dito sa UNTV Cup Season 10A. Nasa court na seeing action for the first time. Balis puts it up and gets the bounce. New, new teams, new heroes. New heroes, new challenges. Oh. That is what UNTV Sports and Charity is all about. Parumao, mula sa labas. Ang Komelet on the board. First contra sa DFA dito sa ating opening quarter. And may foul na itatawag kay Jason Ramel. I believe each team is a level of 16 players kasama ng Eric. So 16 new faces on one end. Plus the coaching staff. And I see our Komelet Commissioner also in the house. Marlon Cascuejo. The Komelet Commissioner in the house. Marlon Cascuejo. Ang ating Komelet Commissioner. Hopefully later makapanayam ng ating kabuting kasama si Rex Trinidad or si Jess Constantino. As La Plana nails the first three-point basket of this match between the DFA and the Comelec Vanguards. An offensive foul is that our on the illegal pick. Yes, is it the Santiago? Ano ano man ang competition na nilalaro mo? Kailangan masanay ka dito sa UNTV ka under the baton of League Commissioner Ato Iko and his deputy. Ed Cordero, two big names in Philippine basketball. Three, two, on DFA, my three-pointer now. Traveling violation. Itatawag kay Jeffrey Ompad. No opening day, kasi mga Eric, we had a total of fourteen teams. May nabunot na apat na teams, and I'm sure those who were ready wanted to play right away. Those who were not yet too ready, nananalangin. Wag sa mga sila mabunot. But we had a couple of uh, nice matches doon sa day one na kung saan. Talagang sa unang laban. Pukpukan kasama ng Eric. Uh, ang ganda. Ang DNR. Tinalo ang PNP responders. Eight, 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 eight players lang ang DNR kasama ng Eric. Pero ang ating mythical five member na si Ed Rivera. Kasama ang kanilang uh, premierong point guard na si Rodel Vergara. Scored 45. Out of the 89 points, that's over 50%, but more than that. Malaking determinasyon at puso ang kanilang pinamalas. Wapen, a very good contender in PNP. Samantala sa second game noon, as you see, itong action may steal. Layup, no good. Medyo napabagsak doon. Si Villonen turns it over. Salazar, sasaksak. Layup, off the glass, malakas. Battle for the loose ball. And the crowd going wild dito sa Phil Sports Arena. Ompad, a-atake from the middle. Off the glass, wala. And ang um, Komelec tumatakbo the other way. Four on two break. Saksak all the way is good for Kenny Isik. Very important transition plays, but more important her transition defense. A constant effort to spin down and protect the basket. Alright, hindi ko na nabalikan yung second game ng opening day. No? Judiciary Majesty tinalo ang OPBMS Trailblazers 86-73. Yun yung resulta. Nung ating Maraming day bagong one. players, Rick, para sa OPPMS. But I'm sure uh -oh. that, will, that will be a very strong unit in the next few matches to come. Pero si Ariel Capos, nagbabalik para sa Ariel, judiciary uh -oh. after five oh, years. Matagal-tagal yun ah. Pero meron tayong bagong kasama, Rick, na maghahatid ng bagong kwento. Ayan, yeah, puntahan natin, Jess Constantino. Jess, kumusta? Eric and Coach Ronnie, Coach Butch Gandarosa has a very few but meaningful words. When I ask him about his DFA emissaries, ang sabi niya nga, kahit na oversize sila, ay sure naman daw na bibigyan nila ng magandang laban ang bawat makakalaro nila dito. He also added na while they only had about two months to prepare and build this team, everyone is committed naman daw to give their 100%. For the for the Comelec Vanguards naman, Coach John Fajardo has high expectations from his team. He wanted them to run, communicate, and look after each other inside the court. He also challenged them to show everyone what Comelec is made of and to prove na nakakapuwing din ang maliliit. May dagdag pa ngang push nung huli na sabi nga nila, ay nandito nga daw ang boss nila. None other than, of course, Comelec Chairman George Garcia. Coach Ronnie and Eric? Maraming salamat, Jess. So, Pareho ko po nun, gusto magpakitang gilas in their first game as Salazar misses on the second attempt pero nakabus doon na yun ng tres doon. Araw-araw halos sa papanood ko si Komelec Chairman kasama ngayon. Oo. 
Mid time paruga with back to back baskets para sa emissaries. Lamang sila ngayon ng tatlo, 10-7. Based on what we read during the preseason, paruga was the top player para dito sa DFA. And the preseason match, a match that they lost. Para naman sa Comelec, it was na mukat kat. We led the way in scoring para sa white shirts. Ramel, nasundutan sa likod. Ompad, kinuha ang bola. It's a three on one break. sa emissaries. Nice passing. Layup. Medyo short for Parungaw. Tatakbo sa kabila naman. Pero careless pass by Salazar. Pero hanga ka sa mga players. Up and down. Walang problema. Ha? Wala pang hinihingal. Tayo. <laughs> sa kahamul sa action. Kasi siksik. Tsaka kaisip na bukas magbabalik na oh. Tarafit. Balik trabaho na naman lahat. Eh, Pero ang, sa ang sarap, no? Itong nakalipas na, oh, na isang linggo, coach. Wala ka talagang makita ang tao sa Manila. Kung ah, nasa Manila ka. Sana nakapagpahinga po kayo lahat. Ano yung mga nanonood sa atin? Ito si Bali, sinikot ang bola. Shot from the corner. It's good for Ramel. I believe that is the second made three-point basket. Para dito sa Comelec, who ties the count at 10 all. Oh, isa kay Salazar, isa kay Ramel. So a tight start in the opening quarter. 5.24 remaining. And that shot going outside. Bola ng Komalek Vanguards. So far, I'm checking. Ano, parang both coaches, Coach Attorney Fajardo ng uh, Vanguards at si Coach Ganda Rosa ng MSRs, wala pang substitution dito. Ha? Alahati na. Alahati na tayo sa first quarter, Coach Rod. Saka Rick, maganda yung nilalaro ng mga teams eh. Oo. Quality contest for two new teams. Mga bata eh, no? Bata. At talagang kondisyon. Oh, the competition here in the UNT Recap is really good. Ay, oo. Quite tough. Pag pinanood mo kayo mga players, Coach, when they talk about, especially former players, ano, when they talk, and this is, I'm talking about, former players na naglaro ng college, mga varsity, sinasabi nila mismo, hindi biro ang maglaro dito sa UNTV Cup because they, it might be composed mostly of government em employees. Yung level of competition mataas because of yung coaching, the imports, at yung, yung level ng skill na dinadala. Yung dami ng laro. Really Tapos helps them. Pa. Well, I've seen close to a thousand games, Rick. In the history of the UNTV Cup. Oh, oh. Given our ascent from uh, the initial number of seven teams that we started, and even dun sa executive phase of the mga teams, eh, ang dami nating nakitang uh, exceptional talent. So, oh. of the scoreline, which stands at 12 points apiece. Bagong pasok, Imperio and Namukatkat para dito sa Vanguard. Number 8 and number 18. Ito si Imperio, number 8. Go to Namukatkat, who is fouled on the attack. Namukatkat seems to be a very strong inside player. Naglaro to coach sa D-League. Si Jemuel Namukatkat, who is at the line. Nag-D-League to para sa Marinero Filipino at uh, varsity player for TIP. Naku. Ang engineers kasama ng Eric. Diyan nang galing sila Troy Rosario among others. And they have produced a lot of very good players. They've moved over to several teams that played in the UAP. And these are high quality players. Uh -oh. As, uh, Namukat Kat scored his first point earlier. Offensive rebound after the miss by Namukat Kat. Ngayon natin kung pupuntahan nila si Namukat Kat sa poste. No, they shoot a three. Um, miss mula sa likod ng ring. Medyo malakas yung pagtira. Ompad! Yes! Dominic is at 56% from the field. DFA at 33, but DFA is ahead because they have more touches. Plus three sila. And they have three steals. Bali, sa ganda ng spin! Oh, beautiful move! What a nice move there. Para kay Ferdinand Balis. Ompad from 15 feet, air ball. First substitution para kay Coach Gandarosa as Ezequiel Perez papasok and you're looking at the Burley C best shot of the game. Samantala, number six, si Ermita will check in for the first time. 
Eduardo Ermita para sa Vanguards. Imperio binababa ang bola. Small lineup para sa Vanguards. Nabukat-cut to Imperio for three. Wala. O Campo, pinabayaan na yung bola. Alam mo, ako masayang masaya rin dahil nagkakaroon ng pagkakataon ng ating mga government agencies na mga bago ha. Oo. Because we've had close to 30 government agencies in the last 10 years that have played or are still playing. Oo. Pero yung team. Ika for the record kasamang Eric, there are only three teams remaining. PNP, Judiciary, and AFP. Oo. Since 2013. The year that we started. From the beginning. Yes. Oo. At si Rina, si Commissioner, si Deputy Com, si Sir Sam, at saka ako. Wow. Yung mga original, OG. OG. OG, a.k.a. Ted. Samantala, back-to-back baskets, parehong kopunan. Ganda quality, di ba, Rick? Oh, of course. 17-16. Saka, ano? Yung attitude. A very good number, very good output in the first quarter. Seven and a half minutes. Alam mo nik, buti pa next week. Bago magumpisa yung first game, maglaro muna tayo. Nice spin by Ermita off the bench. Spin cycle move coming from Ermita. Off the bench scoring always essential, especially when the starting unit has already taken care of its role. Namukat-kat with the loose ball. Emperio, tumatakbo dito ang Vanguards. Oh, nice passing. Emperio, lalabas. Emperio, spinning. Finds na mukat-kat, na mukat-kat, faking, na mukat-kat, no look pass, Ermita from 15 feet, wala. Good block out by Perez, ay na mukat-kat. Parang awa, atake, good defense. Nice. By na mukat-kat, three-point lead para sa white shirts. Perez with a one-hander. Emperio fakes a pass. And hinihintay yung kanya mga teammates. Lamang ang Comelec ng tatlo. And they can make it a five-point lead. Malakas, Isik got hit in the head. No call. Five against four. Ompad Pinasa. Nice Ompad pass. gets it back and puts it in. Nice pass. Unselfish play coming from Parunga leading to that easy basket. Good transition defense for the blue shirts. Bad pass. Nalipit. Hindi hinihingal eh. Oo. Kali na pa yan. Takbo na takbo. One-point game. Pagkakataon para sa blue shirts to take the lead. Manansala mula sa labas. Perez gets the loose ball, offensive rebound and para sa DFA. I already see former GSIS QB player, Maki Escalona, walking along the sideline, donning the SSS colors, kasama ng Eric. Oo, formerly of uh, Ateneo Blue Eagles. First round draft pick by Hineva in the PBA. As far as we hear, the UNT pick up. One among many oh. big name players in college who made this way made their way in the Philippine Basketball League all the way to the Philippine Basketball Association. Ah? Ah? Oh, ah? One minute remaining. Offensive rebound. Ermita. Press. Got it! Five points on the bench for Ermita. Three-point basket number three. That's nine of their first 22 points and they have a four-point lead. Parungao. Spins and loses it. Ganda nila laro. Parehong kumpunan. Coach Ronnie, good output in almost 10 minutes. 18 points para sa DFA. 22 points para sa Komilek. Nice pass sa ilalim. Distansya. Medyo malakas yung reverse. Nice pass again by Parumal. Oh, as a traveling. Yep, the shotgun. Dominic Domondon with a traveling. Or make that Mananansala. Final shot. Para matapos ang ating first quarter na mukat-kat. Did not go in. Komelek enjoyed a 4 point lead, 22-18. Contra sa DFA pagkatapos sa first quarter. Parehong kumpuna na bagong bago sa ating UNTV Cup ang Comelec Vanguards DFA Emissaries. Rick, hindi na sila bagong bago. Ah, well, ang Emissaries, bago na lang. Bago na. <laughs> Nung hindi pa nagsisimula, bagong bago. 
Parang yung sasakyan mo, no, nakita ko siya. Bago na lang. Kasi, ginamit mo na. Pumasok ka na ng ilang tol. Umexit ka na ng Kalax. Umaliwa ka na ng Nubali. At saka ang DFA, kasi naglaro na itong uh, mga female employees nila at imports sa ating UNTV Volleyball League. UVL. Oo, oh, ating UVL. Ako, nakikita ko na si... Rina Villa Morcama na kasama ang ating Comelec Commissioner. Oo, mamaya. Mga... George Garcia. Ayan na. We'll hear more about them in just a little bit. At samantala, still a 4-point lead para sa Vanguard kontra sa MS Series. Walking fan along number 37, Gordon Luxo. His first round put on the Vanguards. Nakikita ko naglalakad si Rina kasama ang ating uh, mabuting Commissioner. And I'm sure later on, we'll have a... Later on, we'll uh, hear some words from the good commissioner. Oh, oh. Mamantala, ito si Perez. Ezekiel Perez. Puts it in. Kung titignan mo yung flow ng laro, akala mo, lamang ang DFA kasama ang Eric, ano? First basket sa ating second quarter. Mga Komelec, naghahanap pa ng kanilang first field goal. First possession, a blue shirts. First basket of the quarter, a blue shirts. Imperio, wala. Wala pa rin field goal dito para sa Vanguard sa second quarter. Ezekiel Perez. Will sidestep. Good defense. Ito si Jay Perez from the corner. Yes! Six field goals on nine made... Or six assists on nine made field goals. That's a sign of a good passing team. Good teamwork here para sa DFA. Ito, puntahan natin. Isa pa natin teammate, ano? Uh, Rex with an interview. Rex, go ahead. Eric and Coach Ronnie, kasama natin ngayon ang chairperson ng Commission on Elections and former UNTV host na si Attorney G, a.k.a. Of course, we got Attorney George Irwin Garcia. Attorney, welcome back to UNTV. How does it feel to be back and how do you think your boys are playing out today? Well, of course, uh, we are just a new fight in this uh, game, but uh, at least we can show to everyone that uh, this is the spirit of sportsmanship. Of course, si Kuya Daniel Razon, Mr. Public Service, para sa iyo at dahil sa iyo to. All right, how are you loving the atmosphere so far? Big leagues, of course, your boys are representing the Commission on Elections. How does it feel? Of course, we should have done the, this uh, many, many years ago. Ten years na ang UNTV Cup and therefore, dapat noon pa nagparticipate ang uh, COMELEC. But of course, better late than never, nandito na tayo sa Liga ng Public Servants and uh, napaka-saya po ng Commission Elections. Before I let you go, Attorney G, baka meron kang gustong batingin at pasalamatan. Siyempre si Kuya Daniel Rason. Kuya Daniel, ay, nandito na kami. Kaya meron pa kami, sasali pa kami sa mga volleyball at sa mga iba pang events ng UNTV. Maraming maraming salamat, Chairperson of the Commission on Elections, Attorney George Irwin Garcia. Back to you, gentlemen. Maraming salamat, Rex. At um, sarap madilig yung tinig niya. Sabi ni Attorney, ha? Kasali sa volleyball. Volleyball, oo. Oh. Kasali sa sumali na sa basketball. So, bago, bago sa basketball. <laughs> bago, 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 bago sa volleyball. volleyball. Bago, bago, bago. Bagong bukas ang second quarter, Rick, tayo na tayo 22 all, 4-point run para dito sa team ng DFA. Hindi, Coach, Coach Ganda Rosa, na hindi na bago-bago. Oh. Nakita na natin siya last October, August pa lang actually, as the head coach din ng volleyball team ng Emmy Saris. Dinalaw namin ni Rina ito. Nakakatuwa, Rick, pagpunta mo sa DFA. Sa DFA. Mantala, parungaw, second free throw. Wala pang field goal sa second quarter. Ang uh, vanguards ni, Co ni chairperson George Garcia. Kumakagat ang zone defense. As we also uh, can see, former Green Archer, Cholio Villanueva, walking along the sideline. Na siyang head coach nila, Maki Escalon. Oo, oh, mamaya, makikita niya yan. Mantala, distansya. Almost a steal there. Emperio loses it. And steps out of bounds. So, steps outside. Turnover, Komelik. Almost, almost four minutes. Wala pa pong field goal. Wala pa. Hindi pa nakakapuntos dito sa second quarter. At uh, nagkahapon lang sila dito ng isa. Oh, yes! Corner shot is good para kay Ezekiel Perez. 7-0 run for the Emmy Service. A wild shot oh. there. Para kay Mohaliden Distancia. One of the key things when you play zone defense is you have to establish that zone. 
meaning the two three formation as quick as quick as possible especially after the main basket kita mo inararo sila dinadala kahit daka shot clock nila rate mo kung may nagbabalik na naman tayo eto bago 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 yan puntahan natin si Jess Constantino Jess Eric and coach Ronnie bago man etong DFA emissaries homecoming naman ang pakiramdam ni Ezekiel Perez who actually worked for the UNTV Sport uh, News uh, and Report as an in-house camera from 2011 to 2018. And now he joins uh, the team of the Undersecretary for the Overseas Voting Secretary Special Projects. Uh, uh, nagkaroon nga kami ng quick shot before the game at sabi niya nga, masayang makita yung mga dati niyang kasamahan. At the same time, parang 360 moment dahil ngayon naman daw ay maglalaro naman siya para sa kanilang ang chosen beneficiary. At ang commitment na nga lang sa larong ito is to give his best and help help DFA uh, to to win this game. That's all for now. Back to you guys. All right, Ezekiel Perez sa uh, four points na yan, uh, two out of three uh, sa kanyang tatlong pinu pinukulit, dalawa na ang naipasok niya. Oh, and that is off the bench. Oh. And again, the two three formation is slow to form. And that it has allowed Kome like the last three points. Antala, distansya, Bohali then distansya with a nice move. Hindi lang nakompleto yung three point play. Ah, uh, Namukatkat gets tied up. Session arrow stays. No points the direction of uh, the Vanguards. Nice moniker. Samantala ng Emmy Saris. Looking for a defensive stop. Isang field goal pa lang as you see Dominic Dumondon in the game for the first time. Ermita, papasa. Santiago on a turnaround. Wala. And that's gonna be last touch by Cruz. Babalik sa Komelek ang bola. Komelek is only at 40% from the line at 2 out of 5. Uh, Timeout dito para kay Coach Butch Gandarosa. We're tied at 25 dito sa second quarter. Let's go, let's go. Only one field goal pa rin para dito sa Komelek Vanguards. Yung mga nakaputi. Uh, samatala ang DFA Emissaries, yung mga nakablue. At least three field goals na dito sa second quarter. Kaya nga, after being down by four points after the first quarter, eh, tied tayo dito in the second quarter. With under six minutes left, air ball, reverse, malakas na mukat ka, tips it. At mapupunta ang bola kay Jay Perez of the DFA. Jay Perez swings it. Oh, nice tip there. The mundo na atake. The pass, Errita off the glass, malakas. But there is going to be a foul here from Perez. Contra sa DFA. The question is, was that a foul in act of shooting or was that a foul after the shot was taken? Pushing foul on number 10, Jay Perez. After the shot was taken. His first foul, three. Nabulaga ng Komelec of DFA as Komelec pressed or applied the zone press after the timeout. And for coaches, naniniwala ko that after timeout plays offensively or essential. Pero para sa akin, if you are the defensive end, you have to be able to map out something to stop that incoming or that forthcoming offensive possession. Montala, Ryan Compendido in the game for the first time. Number 49 para sa Blue Shirts. Namukatkat. Oh, nice move. Little inside-out dribble. Powers his way inside. Pero may foul na itatawag doon kontra number 15. Jetro Isip. Free throws para kay Namukatkat. Jemuel Namukatkat is going to be at the line. A show of sportsmanship sa pagitan ng dalawang big man. Two free throws for Jemuel Namukatkat. Jemuel Namukatkat is at the line for two free throws. Ito si Namukatkat, 5'10". He's one of the tallest players na. Lang? Yan yung nakalagay dito mo, 5'10". Sa kanyang profile. Nice form at the free throw line. Lalabang ulit ang vanguards ng dalawa of the free throws ni Nabukatkat. There's the press once again. Wild pass. Oh, nice pass this time. The other way. Isik puts it in. 4-0 run para sa vanguards. Lamang silihat ng apat ulit. This is their biggest lead of the game. Oh, another steal. The Mondon on the other side. The Mondon lays it in. Yes! Six to nothing run para sa Komelec. Alam mo rin, hindi lang six to nothing kasi 25-18 ito eh. Hindi, pero nag-25 all tayo, coach. 25-22 pala ito. 25-22, tapos nag-25 all. So, six to zero run. But the run right now is at 
para dito sa team ng uh, Comelec. Nainagong ng DFA yung kalamang ala 25-22. Oh, lamang ang uh, DFA ang 25-22. From 22-18 tayo nagsimula. 22-18. No? Lamang ang Comelec. Comelec. And then suddenly it was 25 to 22. That's right. Lamang ang DFA. Run. Uh -oh. Pero ito, since that time, a 9-0 counter generated ng Comelec dahil sa turnovers against the zone press ng Comelec. Ito si Cruz Isig, ipapasa, dumundon, off the glass, got it! Four points off the bench para kay Dominic Dumundon. And again, that, it's a simple 2-2-1 press. And I believe that out of position and out of formation ang emissaries. And that's why pag nagtapon ka, home run agad. And that changed the complexion of this match here in quarter two right away. Ito ang biggest lead na ng uh, Vanguards. They're up by 8 points. 33-28. Kaya may ngiti na nababaka sa mga muka ng Vanguards. Ayan, ang kita mo. Eh. At may simangot naman sa parte nila Coach Butch. Uh, Leslie Cruz nagbintis. Pero may offensive rebound sila. Galing kay Compendido. Shot from outside. Mali. Namukat-cut. Running. Namukat-cut. Two against three. Namukat-cut is foul. Unnecessary foul. They had more players there talking about Dennis Aris. Yeah, ready to defend. Our good commis commissioner, of course. Attorney George Garcia. Namukat cut. Two for two at the line. Pati ang ating Comelec head ay nakatawa. Nakangiti. Bakit hindi? Lamang sila. Lalamang palalo ngayon. This is now a nine-point lead. Make it ten. Bigat ng counter. 12-0 counter oh. in the last two minutes. And they will keep pressing. Like ikaw sinasabi sa mga players yan. The number of times you give, get them to the free throw line will be the number of times that they will press you. Shot from the corner. Wala. Mintis uh, doon. Si Distancia. Isik has it. Ang daming offensive rebound dito para sa Vanguards. Namukat-kat sa ilalim. Medyo too deep. Uh, ikaw nga ang sabi nila. So, Empty possession there, pero two big offensive rebounds para sa Vanguards doon. Na kailangan map mabawasan, mapigilan yun ng emissaries. Oh, against two defenders, Jeffrey on pad. Isik, one against four. Or actually, one against five. And again, one against four. Numbers will tell you that it was supposedly in favor of the blue yeah, shirts. Uh, but instead of facing up, alam mo, lagi kaya kailangan mag-define mo eh. Sprint down, di ba? Uh -oh. And then, pumarap ka. Kasi when you sprint down, your back is turned. But when you face forward, after you cross the three-point line, makikita mo na meron ng dart na dumadating na gustong tumahe. Kailangan kasi malinaw at malinis ang instructions. Kasi sabi mo, kung sprint down eh. <laughs> Humarap ka. Humarap ka. Para maharang mo. Kasi the object is keep yourself between the basket and the offensive player. That's right. One for two. Para kay Isik at the line. Leslie Cruz. Samantala, si Villon babalik. He was a starter. Uh, Palta niya si Leslie Cruz. The press is on. The one, two, two press is on. But Parongo is here. Another steal. Another turnover for the emissaries. Double cut, cut all the way. Virtual to play. Formation is important for the DFA. And again, another turnover. Double cut, cut with the steal. Isik gets the pass and puts it in. This is now the biggest lead. Dose puto ng kalamangan na Comelec Vanguards timeout. Coach Butch Gandarosa of the DFA. My goodness. Back to back. Nineteen to run. Para dito sa Comelec after being hit with a 7-2 blast right now. They have to arrest this kid before everything is late. Para dito sa DFA. Nagbabalik tayo sa Phil Sports Arena. Uh, Maaksyong first half sa pagitan ng Vanguards at DFA. Pero ngayon, uh, white shirts with their biggest lead. Dose po ang kalabangan nila ngayon, 39-27. They are led by Isik with 9 points. Namukat-cut with 6. Samantalang si Parongao para sa Blue Shirts. Ayan, number 28 with 7 points. Pero may minti siya doon. Namukat-cut with the defensive rebound. 
Tatakbo na naman ang Vanguards Pero good transition defense para sa Blue Shirts Gustong gusto kong marinig yan Good transition defense for the Blue Shirts The only way for them to cut into this 12-point deficit Is to play tough defense Because Ang possession count Plus 3 lang ang Komele But the turnover count Kanina binilang ko yan Bigot lo lang Now they have 8 more turnovers As Komele has already registered 7 On the ball takeaways Yan ang mahirap rig for coaches, they always look at that. Saan ba tayo nagtapon? Pero kung yung tapon mo, diretso sa basket ng kalaban, that's a big problem. Uh -oh. That's a cause for concern. Nice size crowd that we have here on day two. Napakaganda. Uh, for a big venue, ha? marami tayong uh, viewers, especially on the sides dito. Iko tayo ng Inoy Aquino Stadium. Hopefully, that will be the home of the UNTV Cup. And then, we still play in Paco Arena. And uh, at times, in Abadesi. Uh Oo. -oh. Wild shot para kay Parungao. Billion misses. And finally, my whistle on the attempt ni Jetro Isip. That's a shooting foul. So parang free throw si bibigay dito. Kay Jetro Isip. Isip, wala pa pong puntos. Zero for two from the field. Si Jetro Isip. Six to one is for Jumon Namukatka. Matala, three-man substitution para... Kay Coach John Pajardo na Komelec As na Mukatkat, Dumondon And Santiago Uupo muna Salazar, Balis And Lacson Back in the game Actually si Godofredo Lacson Off the bench Free throw for violation Nako So ito si Godofredo Lacson, number 37, will inbound the ball to Salazar. Si Salazar may trust na to. He's a three-point specialist. Maaga. Maaga tumama yan si Salazar. Oo. Isik, top scorer para sa Vanguards. Or make that, yes, sa Vanguards with nine. Ito na naman. Oh, Salazar, yes! Parang Eric Tipa ng release. Since the six-minute mark, this is a 20s against two runs. Oo. Billion, wild pass. Buti na kuha ni Ompad. Ompad, looking. Nice cut underneath. Compendido is fouled. Pushing foul on number 62. Six no balls. Foul is atawag kay Ferdinand Balis. Marlon Limbo for Jeff Isir. Substitution ulit para kay Coach Gandarosa. This is... Shirin Tiu, Ryan. Compendio. Compendio, Ryan Compendio at the line. Pumasok Marlon Limbo, number 21, para sa DFA Emissaries. Nawala yung rhythm ng ano, no? Kasi yung rhythm nila is... Just to protect the basket. But they were at a disadvantage for four straight minutes. Kasama ng Eric, that's right. Four straight minutes. Na kung ikaw na galaro, Eric, maniwala ka. I've been at the receiving end. Parang bangungot. Alahat ng gawin mo. Bakit? Bakit? Wala ano? Matalan sa to be tougher for them. Sa ganito makapagkahat nawa. Na yung kalaban ang mayawak ng bola. So a an offensive foul. It's a tawag kay Balis. New player on the floor, Richard Ginto, number 16. Yeah, may hawak ng bola. Pinali kay Parungao. Parungao has it. One and a half, nalalabi sa ating second half. Ompad recovers the loose ball off the glass. Malakas, Ompad. Oh, but a big rebound para kay Limbo. Limbo puts it up and puts it in. Marlon Limbo with his first field goal. They need that. Malaki pa rin hinahabol dito ng emissaries ni Coach Butch Gandarosa. 42-29 ang ating talaan. Pero, back-to-back -back empty possessions. Ito, turnover na naman para sa Vanguards. Para nga has to be able to compose this team. Good forward pass. Limbo, back-to-back -back baskets para kay Marlon Limbo. So, if you have a poor middle quarter, then the finish uh -oh. and the start which they had. Oh! Yes, that's a good call. That's a good call. Natawagan ng foul si Marlon Limbo. That's a good call. Oh. As Mohali din, distansya is hurt.
Nice to see Distancia get up. He's okay. And Limbo apologizing to Distancia. Nandito po tayo sa Phil Sports Arena ngayong linggo. Uh, final day ng long, long vacation. Uh, tingnan natin yung last sequence kung saan natamaan sa mukha eh. Ayun, shoulder to the face. Medyo a hard blocking foul para kay Marlon Limbo. Distancia gets the first of two. Distancia now with five points. Foul number 21, Marlon Lipo. That's his second personal foul. Two shots, big distancia. So back to back fouls para kay Limbo. Another set of free throws para kay Distancia. Yan, yan ang masakit. Just when you think that the quarter is going to end. Oh, oh may four point run for you. Na sila, eh. four point run na doon ang emissaries. Pero ito back to back foul si Limbo. Pero Limbo, matinding uh, box out sa rebounding. Ito si Parungao. Final 36 seconds. Parungao, inikot kay Limbo. Limbo, tres. No. Lakson. Ang pukol kay Isik. Two against one. Isik, the bounce pass taken away. Good defense para kay Parungao. Parungao, atake. The pass, billion. There is some contact. Yeah, Parungao is a very unselfish player. But I believe that in this type of situation, especially when we start the third quarter, he has to be Foul in take over mode. Foul this That's his first personal foul. Kung hindi makafinish ang kasama, ikaw na. Oo. Oh, 7 points, 3 assists for Parungao. Leading scorer, best passer, top player. Antala Villon, fourth point para kay Mark Anthony Villon. There's uh, Coach Butch Gandarosa of the Department of Foreign Affairs. Billion back-to-back -back, uh, free throws. Yes. Two for two at the line. Timeout Tito on the floor. 44-33. Comelec Lamang contra sa DFA na once. Mabalik tayo for the final 16.2 seconds Matapos ng ating na? first half. Patat Matapos. Ang bilis, no? Oh, grabe. Sobrang fast-paced ng action dito sa first half. First game ng ating triple header ngayong linggo. Naghahanap ng magandang play si Coach Fajardo ng uh, Vanguards to finish out itong first half. Ermita, pasa kay distancia. They go baseline. And turnover para kay Godofredo Lacson. So final 2.5 seconds para sa emissaries. Gan sila nagdala sa long passes. Oh, eh. Salazar po. Tapos at binalibol ni Opad. Ang bola to end the first half of action. Very exciting matchup sa pagitan ng two new teams sa ating UNTV Cup Season 10. Ang uh, white shirts ng Comelec Vanguards kontra sa blue shirts ng DFA emissaries. Ang Vanguards led by Isik with 9 points samantalang Opad ang ating scoring leader para sa DFA. Ang ating talaan pagkatapos sa 20 minutes, 44-33, Komelec, laman ng 11 kontra sa DFA going into the half. Tayo dito sa Phil Sports Arena para sa halftime ng ating unang game sa UNTV Cup Season 10, Day number 2. Eric Tipan kasama si Coach Ronnie Magsanok. A very exciting first 20 minutes. Very. Uh, para sa dalawang kupunan na uh, sumasali for the first time sa ating basketball tournament ng Comelec at ang uh, DFA. It's very fitting to see these two teams uh, making their debuts. Later on, you'll see some numbers. Very exciting first two quarters. Kahit lamang ng labing isa itong team ng Comelec, you'll never know what's going to happen here in the next coming quarters. Mga numero nang bibigyan ng litrato, mga numero na naging kwento, mga numero na sisilipin natin mamaya pagkatapos ng laro. Pero importante, balikan na natin ang live action. 44-33 ang uh, Komelec. Lamang po ng 11. Tulad nga sabi ni Coach Ronnie Magsanok, uh, lumamang bahagya itong uh, DFA emissaries in the second quarter. Pero nung nag-press na 
O dumepensa ng halos full court itong uh, Vanguards ay eh, napilitang mag-turnover ang mga Blue Shirts. Ompad! Spots up! Wala! Battle for the loose ball. Villon! Muntik na nakuha pero nakolekta ni distansya para sa Vanguards. Imperio. Ermita ngayon may hawak ng bola. Namukat-kat. Seven on the shot clock para dito sa white shirts. Imperio, corner three. Wala. And Villon, natanggal ang uh, headband pero nakuha naman ang bola. Pero binabalik naman niya rin. <laughs> La Plana puts it in. Good start here para sa blue shirts. A completed defensive stop. And then, that home run play courtesy of La Plana. Putahan natin itong uh, report ni Jess Constantino. Jess? Eric and Coach Ronnie, do not panic. Iyan nga ang bilay ni Coach Butch of the DFA Emissaries sa kanyang kuponan when the Comelag increased their lead to a double digit. He reminded the Emissaries to have presence of mind inside the court. Sabi nga niya, kailangan lang nila mag-focus on the game and the importance of boxing out their opponent. For the Comelag Vanguards naman, 23 rebounds and a good transition game. Ito nga yung proof ng talagang pinapractice daw nila ito before uh, this uh, game, sabi nga ni Coach John, kahit maliliit tayo, we make sure that we are getting the rebound. So expect the Vanguards to continue this momentum and play with no hesitation. Back to you guys. Maraming salamat, Jess. Uh, itong si Coach Fajardo ng uh, Pomelik. Medyo maliliit daw ang Vanguards, pero malalakas naman sila. Especially sa talunan, lalo na sila mukatkat. One of the top scorers, six points. Para sa Vanguard, samantala umpad at the line. Very important free throws para sa DFA. Umpad with 8 points. Siya ang top scorer para dito sa emissaries. Pero 2 free throws missed. Para kay umpad. Imperio, sasaksak. Nice pass. Hindi ko tinang bola na mukat-cut. To distansya. Distansya for 3. In and out. The tip, mapupunta kay Imperio ang bola. Another offensive board. Balis puts it up, puts it in. Ferdinand Balis, one of problem, the starters. A problem continues here para dito sa DFA. Question is, until such time, or what time nila libitawan yung zone defense and try to go man-to-man. Oo, -man. Oh, ganda ng preno ni Imperio. Distansya, touch pass. And Ermita is fouled. Foul number 24, Mark Villon, his first personal. Villon with his first personal foul. 14 seconds on the shot clock. This is Ermita, he's going to throw the three. He's fouled! Shooting the three! Ermita with a big shot! Seven points for Ermita. Pushing foul number nine, Marmon Laplana. His second foul, two on DFA. First three-point field goal para kay Eduardo Ermita. He's at the line. Misses yung bonus. Ay, mapuputa ang loose ball sa emissaries. La Plana. Nasa gitna kay Umpad. Umpad with a nice first step. Pero wild shot para kay Umpad. Balis with the rebound. Emperio. Oh, offensive foul. That's good defense. Now let's see. Offensive foul. As Paloma is back on the court. Para sa blue shirts. Somebody has to score for the blue shirts. Na nawala yung tikas, no? Kanina, game na game. Yan talagang gigil na gigil. They have to be able to play through this and once again try to get their aggressive ways back. La Plana. Oh, nakakita ng butas. Nobody guarding. La Plana. Ay, Enrico, pagkabasa ng kit mo, hindi pwede nakatalikot kayo. Oo. Kailangan mauna kayo sa spot. Kasi tinitirahan sila. Ayan, o. Ermita, mula sa labas. Oh, back to back. Big threes. Para kay Eddie Ermita. I told you, after you make a basket, marirealize yung kabilang team na slow kayo to go to your spots. Oo. Ezequiel Perez, Mintis. Distansya, tumatakbo. The pass. Ermita, will push siya. Oh, Ermita! Ermita, this is a 
seven or eight. Beg your pardon, eight point run. Tala ni Ermi tala hajo na. If they think back to the first half score, this is a 12-4 scoreline here in the third quarter, which brings or puts DFA in a bigger hole. A team that started out so well. And yung 13 to 4 run ayan. And nine of the 13 galing lang ke ano yan Ermita lahat. Dalawang tres as isang three point play. A pad na sa ilalim. Yes. Inside baskets. In trickles, for DFA, we're still behind by a huge lead. Si Ompad with 10 points na. Shot by Ermita. Oh, Ermita now with this is 18 points na para kay Ermita. Again, the decision has to be made. Do you stay playing zone? Or do you go man-to-man -man at least take a risk and make something happen. Ompad is fouled in the act of shooting. To si Ermita. The last 11 points na ang Komele galing lahat sa kanya. Definitely a big plus. The biggest score. Laban naman sa DFA. Oo. Ito si Ompad. 11 na to. First player in double digits para sa MSRs. And you know what? Kasama ng Eric. If you're playing... And you're behind, then you're, you're on the losing end. This thing happens, feeling mo. You're lost inside. Hindi mo alam kung paano mo mamamani obra. Imperio, inikot ang bola. Ito si Ermita. He has the hot hand. Ika nga. Namukat-kat. Tira mula sa labas. In and out. Para kay Isik. Parongao has to be able to score. Nice pass. Parongao. Kaya lang pasa, no? The planets trying to start something here. Trying to be the catalyst, but they have to establish that zone once again. Palis with the pass. Ermita, tres na naman. He dodged a bullet. He was wide open. La Plana, all the way. Oh, nice block. Pero may natawag na foul doon. La Plana is down. It was clean upstairs, but there was a body hit. Pushing foul on number 28, Ken Isik. His first personnel. So, tignan natin. La Plana, charging hard. Substitution. Ayan, no? Ay, masakit yung pagsa. Ang tawag dyan eh, Balakam. Pero La Plana is okay. There was that separation in the middle part of the second quarter that led to the 17-point lead generated by Ermita's scoring surge here in the first. So that was a combination of two stretches that has hurt DFA up to this point of the match. La Plana scoring heavily here in the third. La Plana right now, para dito sa kanilang team with a total of 9 points behind the 11 of Ompad. 20 of the 43 para sa Emi Saris. 2 for 2 para kay Marmar La Plana. Malaki pa rin yung nahabol dito ng Emi Saris. 59-44 ang ating talaan. Pass inside na mukatkat. Ermita open for 3. Got it! Again. I'll throw that question once more, Kasama ng Eric. Oh. When do you release from your 2-3 zone? DC Ocho, ang kalabangan ngayon ng Vanguards. This is their biggest lead. Ompad, binabantiyan na mukat ka. Oh, wow, with a hand in his face. Ompad with 13 points. It's a bright spot together with La Plana and Parungao, three players. 17. 17 third quarter points. Tama ba yung kasama ka? Ah, coach. Big shot! What a display of shooting para kay Ermita. 17 of the 21 points coming from Ermita here in the third. Wow! Namukat-kat. Oh, all the way with a foul! 23 third quarter points versus 13. So, walang problema sa offense ang DFA. On defensive, eh. Oo. Meron ng sagot sa offense, but the defense has to be better for them because too many layups given up, too many open looks surrendered. Now, after being behind by 11, they are down by 21. Biggest lead para sa Komilek. 21. 21. 
Good defense by Nemokatkat kontra kay Ompad. Ito si Parungao. Natahimik si Parungao dito sa second half. Alam mo kung bakit, Rick? Kaya hindi siya maka-atake dahil lahat ng tinitingnan niya ay half-court sets. Hindi sila maka-stop. Hindi sila makatakbo dahil puro shoot. 21 points in 6 and a half minutes is way too much to give up. And ito si Umpad lang ang puupuntos. And last 13 misses yung first free throw. Two players na in double digits para dito sa DFL. Ay! And nobody's rebounding for them. Everybody's down. That's why it's a rebounding position. 13 kay Umpad, 11 kay La Plana. Mantalang 24 ito si Ervita. Imperio, Pinasa, Balis, Namukatkat, Inigot. Uh, Ermita. Dilimis pa si Dimot pa yung rim. Everything that he has touched has turned to gold. Wow! 19 of his 26 points. 19 of the 25 third quarter points. Delivered by Ermita. Jerez, sasagot. Ano nangyayari? Tres ng kabila, dos ng kabila. Oo. Scoreline here in the third. 25-15 in favor of the Bangers. Ermita is smoking hot. Ermita, even here in passing. Sumasagit sit. Left corner, right wing. Short corner, no problem. Ermita, remember that name para sa Comelec Bangers. Outplay nila tayo. Four point lead para kay Eddie Ermita at itong Comelec Bangers. This is their biggest lead of the game, Coach Ronnie. What a shooting display. Pinapakita sa atin dito ni Ermita. 29 points for him. Namantalang... 22 here in the third. 22 in the third, you know? Ezequiel Perez, papasok for the emissaries. Parungao is still in the game, pero he has been silent dito sa second half. Yes, running game ang gusto ni Parungao. Well, Almeida has scored the entire team ng DFA by his long shot to the tune of 22-17. Even with the pot, scoring heavily here in the third. Here's a steal para sa emissaries. La Plana. And a foul na tawag kay Balis. La Plana na kaka may onse na to si La Plana. Coach Butch Gantarosa needs more offense, especially from Parungao. Perimeter scoring ang kailangan nila. Yung mga floor spacer sa tinatawag. Oo. Buti nga sila plana, nakakapasok sa loob. Ang unang pumutok sa Comelec ay itong pumapasok na si Salazar. Corner 3, early 3. Pero yung emergency ni Ernita, son of the bench part. Laking bagay. 29 kay Eddie Ernita. Ito si Namukatkat. Namukatkat. And an early foul there. Penalty na po. Parehong kopunan. So, it will be free throws. Every foul na magagawa ng parehong kopunan. DFA at Komelec. Namukatkat. Slowly. Going into double digits na to. Nuebe na si Namukatkat. Galing sa Misamis Occidental. Jemuel na mukatkat. One of two at the line. La Plana. Ito, pupush na naman ang bola. La Plana. Good defense by Salazar. Isip. Parungao. Ewan. Isip. Isip for three. Short. Isip. Pass. Nakuha ni Salazar. But yung save ni Salazar goes to La Plana. O Pad. That's good defense. That's a good sign. And then, on the return play, you have the numbers. Softer interior defense, then you can score better. Basket will count, sabi ng ating baseline official. Ayan, Rico. 
Actually, one against three, eh, pero hindi naka-form ng maayos. So, si Ompad, now with 17. Pero misses yung bonus. So, 17 points para kay Jeff Ompad. Namukat-cut. Easy cutting. Easy all the way. That's too easy. Defense has to be tougher if they are to slice this 21-point deficit. They've already surrendered 31 points in the quarter. That's the biggest defensive... Uh, Nice drive para kay Parungao. That's the, that's the biggest defensive vacuum that they have surrendered so far. That's a 31 points na yun. Si Arvita ay may 22 points. Somebody has to be able to step up and say, I'll take care and contain itong si Arvita. Ang tala Parungao, first is good. 8. 8 points para kay Parungao. Inspirado itong Komelik. Nandiyan lang kanilang uh, number one man. Oh. Uh, chairperson George Garcia. Komelek. Watching, I'm sure, very happy. So, uh, magiging resulta itong uh, opening game should they maintain yan, itong intensity na to uh, sa fourth quarter. Salazar, hindi ko tang bola. Who's Easy. guarding? Woo. Nobody's guarding. Is it? Well, three, four players were playing man-to-man -man defense but somebody apparently had no one, nobody to guard. Kaya si Isid na yung tumatama eh. Oo. Oh, oh. Parang nga, umula sa labas, air ball. Isid, may hawak ng bola. Na, namukat-kat, nasa gitna. Namukat-kat, pasa. Salazar! Medyo malayo yung pasa. Pag ganun sitwasyon, coach, dapat ba si Salazar nasa corner na diretso? Sana. Si, pero, pasa, eh. pero si namukat-kat, supposedly, hindi dapat ang uh, ball over doon. Oo, oh, sa gitna. Okay. Normally, ang decision makers yung maliliit. Oo. Uh -oh. Tapos ang finishers yung malalaki. malalaki. Or diretso mo na. Final 8 seconds ng ating third quarter. Ompad. Galing si Ompad, ano? Uh -oh. Galing po poste. Final 3 seconds. Isik has to put it up. Malakas lang. A very nice third quarter. Para dito sa Vanguard. Powered by Eddie Ermita. Oh, yes. All power. <laughs> Lahat ng accessories nandun kasama ng Eric. <laughs> Naka-turbo charge. Hybrid. Electric. <laughs> ikaw. Turf mo yan. Sige, ikaw mo magkwento. Anong tawag mo dyan? Ibang klase ko. Just firing on all cylinders. Ika nga. Pati ito, toggle switch. Kompleto. Kontrolado. Oo. Samatala si Ompad. Uh, leading the way para dito sa Vanguards. Pero not enough as Ermita. Namukat-kat and company. Firing again on all cylinders. And from all corners, uh, they are... Leading 78-56, 2. Pagkatapos ng 30 minutes, ang uh, Comelec Vanguards lamang. 78-56 contra sa DFA Emissaries. Say 22-point lead. Biggest lead nila is 24. Salazar, nasa starting lineup dito sa fourth quarter. Sama si Distancia, Ramel, Balis, and Lacson. Salazar. Behind the back dribble, Salazar is fouled. Natawagan si Laplana as we send it courtside. Putahan natin si Jess Constantino. Jess. Eric and Coach Ronnie, festive moments and all smiles. Itong bench and fans ng Comelec Vanguards. With, uh, of course, that is because of the exceptional showing of Ed Ermita in the past three quarters. But the Vanguards has no plans of stopping until the final buzzer. Dahil ang sigaw na nga sa loob ng bench, no mercy. Back to you guys. All right. Salamat, Jess. Alam ko na, Rick. Anong first name ni Ermita? Eddie. Eduardo. Oh, Eduardo Electric Hermit. <laughs> Para E-Cube na siya. Hindi lang hybrid. All power, all cylinder. Turbo charge. E-Cube. Ma math na yan. Kusa, no? Aba, mahi Dun, doon ako nawala. Mahina tayo. <laughs> doon ako nawala. Pero ito, siya. alam ko, 22 point lead. <laughs> entering the fourth. And this will be the time the DFA has on the sleeve to be able to overturn this over 20 point deficit. Double team si Ompad, hindi ko tambola. Villon, sasaksak. There's a whistle. Nasdutan si Villon, pero may foul dito sa white shirts. Mababa yung, mababa yung loob ng DFA. They have to understand that in the UNT, they come up and down. Up and down. You'll never be up all the time. But you have to know what to do when you're down. Villon, nakapasok sa loob. Aray ko. Balis goes down. 
Four against two. Salazar, inside out dribble. Pero nawala ang bola. Another good defensive sequence, but it has to be multiple and consecutive and sustained para sa GFA. Parungao, binababa ang bola para sa emissaries. Umpad, nice spin. Galing gumalawa na. Si Umpad, malapad. Salazar, the pass, balis. Nice pass. Distansya, sasaksak. Oh, wow! Nawala sa kaliwa, pero na... Tip in. The distance. Whatever happens para sa emissaries, this is a good learning curve para sa kanila. To understand what is in the UNDP Cup and to know what lies ahead. And remember, only five of the seven teams per pool will make it to the second phase. Pamel. Nagigay balis ang bola. Nine seconds on the shot clock para sa cover. Distansya. Distansya mula sa labas. Lakson saves it. Mapunta kayo Ramel. Ramel is fouled with the basket and has to count. Yan ang masakit. The effort that is exerted is even more. Sayang. Shot clock violation. That's a good touch the bullet situation. Parang mga tira ni Adam. A.K.A. Rex Trinidad. Binanda, Maika, sama pang... Mabuti na lang napuntukan ng 24. Ito na naman si Ompano on the post. Perez, inikot ang bola. To Ezekiel Perez. Oh, nice block! And there's a foul. Contra sa emissary. Complete and defensive stop. Triple effort here para sa white shirts. More ahead by over 20 points. With under 8 minutes remaining in their debut game. Both teams in action for the first time here. They went to the cup. Actually, DFA is a good team. Nautakan, nagulangan, at nahirapan bumalik ng alamang. Bounce pass, distansya. Mapupunta kay Lakson ng bola. Balis, pass up. In and out. And may foul na itatawag. And gonna be a pushing foul. Pushing foul on number 37, Godo Lakson. Contra kay Godo Fredo Lakson, number 37. Seven and a half minutes remaining. Galing, galing pumasa niya. But they need a couple of outside shooters and they have to be better defensively. Matchups, if they're going to play zone, what areas to cover. Because right now, Komelik is not seeing anybody from the DFA. You're there, but it seems to them that you're not there. Oh. Short, you lay up the limbo. Oh, nice no look pass. Ramel misses. Ito si limbo, may hawak ng bola. Parungaw, itatakbo. Parungaw, the pass. Oh, nice move sa ilalim para kay Ezekiel Perez. Somebody has to be down. Balis faking, balis sa ilalim. Yes! Oh, Pad was not quick enough to contain Balis. One-on-one play, Balis prevails. 23-point team still stays. Malaki rin kasi si Balis eh. Perez, air ball. Malalaki si Larry. Oo. Tsaka condition. Ayan, no? Distansya, nawala yung bola, nakuha pa. Pinasa kay Perez. Oh, nice touch pass! And a foul game for Parungal. Oh, Parungal. That's a preempted foul by Parungal. That's a play coming from Parungal. Foul number 28, Mok Mok Parungal. And you can make it to most of the guys who are passing, you know, in the Vanguard's coach. Again, they played together for a while and they know how to share the ball to find the open teammate. Can you see for the distance? For the distance, you can play. Jero Gorichok for Jero Gorichok. Pasok si Isik. Jerome na mga cut for 6-0 bodies. Also, new player Jerome Muricho, number 12. Mapasok para sa Komelec. Wow. Isik, kaagad, nagparabdab. They are at 55% from the field. Nine made three-point baskets. For 27 and 87. Plus 10 rebounds, plus 15 assists. If this is correct, 
Oo. This is 25 assists on 33 main field goals. Ompat triple team. Nakahanap pa rin ng butas. 25 point lead. Ito ang pinakamalaking kalamangan. Para sa Vanguard. Ompad. 19 na. Ang puntos. Make that 20 points para kay Ompad. Majority of them in the last three quarters. Kasi kanina, yung bilang natin sa kanila, 11 at 9 lang. Eh. Sila nila plana. Eh. Si Parungaw ang hindi na bumuga. 9-4 Parungaw, but it's only a 2 out of 10. But with 5 assists. Namukat-kat with the rebound. 1 for 2 at the line. Si Jeff Ompad. 3 players in double fingers para sa Comelec. Hermita 29, Isik 16. Balis with 10. Salazar, Tres. Air ball. Nice pass. Oh! Good save! Told you. And Jackson with the basket. And those are things that don't come out of the stats. Uh -oh. Those are the intangibles. Mga hassle, no? Double effort plays. Coaches always love those type of scrappy players keeping the ball alive at any given time. 26. Ito na pinakamalaking kalamangan para sa Vanguards. Limbo. Wala. Namukat ka to the rebound. Tatakbo na naman ng Vanguards. It's three against three. Oh, oh Mauricio all alone. Pero hindi na ipasok ang bola. Big rebound para kay Laplana. Laplana, tatakbo pa baba. Laplana, the pass. Opad fakes. Opad off the glass. Yes. Opad is going to be a major player para sa DFA. Uh -oh. But remember, you only play a total of six games. And we have a total of, uh, we have a number of 42 matches in 2023. Dating back to opening day last Monday. Uh -oh. So you have to win those matches before the 2024 season or 2024 uh, comes. Dahil pagdating doon, baka alanganin ka na. Ang tala, easy. The big three. Ten three-point baskets. Wow. Nearly 33% of the total output. How come somebody's not there once again against almost the best three-point shooting team in the country? How come somebody's not there once again against all of the best three-point shooters para dito sa Pangalan? Bawalit tayo sa Field Sports Arena Final 10 minutes sa pagitan ng two debuting teams dito sa Season 10 ng UNTV Cup Hindi na sila bagong, bagong, bago Dahil nakikita ko yung mga bagong maglalaro ay nandito na Oo, SSS, ano? Oo, nakakasa na Kabalikat, warming up Tumantala, Laplana is fouled by Salazar Sabi ni Salazar, bola! At gusto natin magpasalamat kay Chairman Bachman at sa Philippine Sports Commission sa pagtulong sa atin oh. na tayo ay makalaro ngayon sa Field Sports Arena. We were supposed to play today in the Nina Aquino Stadium. Pero kasi yung latag ng Kiba Court ay madelay ng isang araw kasama ng Eric. And uh, the good chairman was able to help us out together with the rest of his team. Sila Ma'am Dole, sila Ma'am Judith, sila Ma'am Linda. And that's why we're here in a very nice venue. Maraming salamat po. Napalapit ka ba? Napala yun. Parang mas malapit. Parang mas malapit, Parang di ba? Parang mas malapit. Pero ito, hindi nakakalapit dahil palayo. Ay, palayo na palayo. Nang palayo. Nang palayo. As they have already scored 26 in the quarter while giving up only 9 para sa DFA. We're talking about Comelec. We scored 59 points kasama ng Eric. Oo. In the last two quarters with this much time left here in the fourth. Salazar, all alone. Salazar puts it in. It's a 31-point lead. Pinakamalaking kalabangan na ito. Another steal para kay Namukatkat. Isik to Namukatkat all the way! Yes! Hindi pwedeng wala si Parungaw sa loob. Subpar, strong game. He has to be inside. 33-point lead para sa Komelec. What a debut para sa Vanguards, Coach Ronnie. Yes! Amazing. Crossover, La Plana. Good defense para kay Namukatkat. Isa lang ang mensahe ron ni Namukatkat. Ang bumangga. Iba. Iba. Meron pang kasunod. Ang tumama, dapa. Namukatkat, double digits ito. Onsen na kay Namukatkat. And he will sit down. La Plana checking out his spare parts kasama ng Eric. Kasi pangalawang malakas na lagabog na niya yan. Namukatkat will stay. Imperio... 14-4 and Dumundol. La Plana. 
Definitely one of the bright spots together with uh, Ompad and of course uh, Parunga was Coach Bush that are also pondering out what lies ahead. Oh, oh. They will work on it, I'm sure of that. Big Coach rebound. Coach, Coach Bush will figure out what to do together with the rest of his staff. And oh. Perio na ipit ang bola sa Bewang. Ano bang mga kailangan gawin, Coach Sonny, para sa'yo for the emissaries going into their second game? Better defense, that's one. Alright, go. Pagsak na naman sila plan. Sound press, that's two. And then, siguro yung player combination ni Coach Butch to get the maximum uh, possible performance. Ayan, no? Yung tao-tao, sino may bantay? Oo. Better communication. Samantala, Coach Sonny, as uh, we look at the mukat cut, pull up, and miss. Para naman sa vanguards, great start sa kanilang first game sa UNTV Cup. But, Ermita, kung hindi dahil kay Ermita, one of the good things you like as Isik will miss. One of the good things you like. It's a very quick team. Number two, it's a solid inside defense. In spite of the fact that Tompad has scored repeatedly, quality yung mga big sila. Hindi masyado at sobrang katangkad. Pero malalakas. And then they have very good perimeter players. Of which, makita mo, very productive. At maayos yung ball movement. In fact, if this is correct again, they have 28 assists. If this is correct. Wow. That's 28 assists on 38 made field goals. Could be a record if this is too oh, high. Accurate, ano? Madaping high hot. For a game. <laughs> For a 40-minute game. Kasi naglalaro lang yung sulit sa 15, ano? 10, ah, 10 to 20. 20. Pero we will see. We will have to double check because there were a lot of fast break opportunities. But I thought that there were layups uh -oh. and not coming from passes. But we'll see. Mantala, uh, top scorer ng game na to, si uh, Eddie Ermita will surely rest the entire remaining two minutes out. I could have scored in the 40s had he gotten more playing time here in the court. For sure. The Mondon. Uh, I don't think that'll count. Holding foul on number six, Jeff Opal. Bad with the foul. Isik lalabas. And Muricio magbabalik. Number 12. Para sa Vanguards. 14 second shot clock. Para dito sa white shirts. Imperio. Pinabantihan ni Laplana. Stop from behind. Dumondon. May hawak ng bola. Dumondon. Sasaksak. And puts it in. That will count this time. Sabi ni Dumondon, hindi niyo kinachoy sa kanina. Ito na lang. And this is almost 100 points for a first season team. This could be a sleeper of a team. Kasama nga Eric in terms of being a dark horse. Nalidinig ka ng AFP Cavaliers, Coach Ronnie. Ito pala ang sleeper team, ha? Kasi sila, kilala na na malakas. Alam natin na contender talaga. Defending champions natin, AFP Cavaliers, a four-time UNTV Cup champion. Tama. Substitution. Narius Manansala for Jeff Isik. Coach Gandarosa, papasok si Manansala, number 11. With 97 seconds separating. Kamalek from their first win. Oo. Nili 1037 before the emissaries of DFA will taste their first loss of the competition. A good commissioner. All smiles. Pero bawal malate bukas dahil galing sa ilang araw ba yung... Nine. Kasama weekend ah. Nine days. Pero yung Friday kasi supposedly work day sa iba yun. Pero yung iba... I-leave na eh. Sayang. Yung tawag na sandwich. Ang tawag doon offset. Offset. Sa madaling salita... Rest mo. La Plana is a saksak. He's fouled. Pero na lamang kami. Yung November 30. Oh, 30. Since which November 27? Ano ba yun? Holiday. Ayo, no. 25, 26, 27. Na the long weekend kasi. Kaya alam na kaplano na ng 30 pa no yung sa pool. Wow. So long weekend, 25, 26, 27. Pero yung 30, pasok na, pasok na. Coach Butch, kapatid ni Kim Ganda Rosa. Tingnan ko tuloy yung sinasabi mo, 25-27. Totoo yan, totoo yan. 
Kasi Thursday at 30, ano? Yes. Kasi yan ang simula ng uh, Beach Volleyball Pro Tour. <laughs> Yo, tama. Sa tabi mo. <laughs> Yung ba sa New Valley ba? Tuloy ba sa New Valley? New Valley. New Valley, oo. Oh, oh. Check mo sa side. Number 30 to December 3. Panalo ka na naman. Sama mo si Jack. Para makanood, ano? Oo, oh, sa tumbling lang yun. Kaya, alam mo, halimbawa ang mahasay tayo. Sa silang na ako. Oo, oh, mas malapit. Oh, sa bingo, doon ako nakatira. Malabig-labig pa. <laughs> Eh, kaya lang may UNTV Cup ng 30. Oh, di pwedeng iwanan. Kailangan ang... Dito tayo. Tutuwa ka natin ang action dito. Ayun, ha? All smiles na naman. Ating uh, chairman, George Garcia of the Covenant. Madadala si sir dito. Taganda na nilalaro ng kupuna niya. Talagang madalas manonood yan. Nakikita natin palagi yan si chairperson Garcia. And they recover. Plus 16 in terms of rebounding. Wow. So that's one thing that David will also work on, blocking out. Imperio to the Mondon. Wala ang bola. Tatakbo si Laplana. Oh, Laplana. Super fast. Mahusay, mahusay. Billion loses it. Laplana sa ilalim, puts it in. He's only taken seven attempts but has scored 16 because he's seven of seven from the line. Steal na naman, Laplana. Oh, yes. Ang gandang kaparter ito ni Parungaro. Mar Mar Laplana with back-to-back baskets. 26, or rather, 26 point lead, yes. Bad pass, and tumundun, may foul kay Compendio. So a little run sa dulo ng fourth quarter para dito sa MSR is Coach Roni. Something to think about. Coach Butch is scrapping together with the rest of his staff. Pero maganda yung hassle na ipinapakita niya kanyang kapunan. Never say die attitude. Compendio. At the line. Si Ryan Compendio, formerly nasa Philippine Consulate in New York. Si Compendio. Parang si Coach Butch. Kasi umiikot sila eh. At yung mga volleyball players natin na nandideploy sa iba-ibang, how do you say it? Consulate? Oo. Or offices abroad. Imperio. Panggaan. Imperio, compendio. Pero disidido na hindi magbigay ng libreng tira. Yun ang hinahanap mo. You're trying to narrow down what happened. Dahil hindi mo makukover lahat. Oo. So this will be 12 teams making their debut at the end of the day. And then two more teams who have not yet played after two play dates. We'll see action on, on Thursday. The final 11 seconds and counting. We steal. Uh, Mauricio. Malakas. May foul doon. Lacson. May compendio talagang. Serious with the defense. Up until the last minute. And that's a dagger look. No free shots. Not in my house. Oh, no easy baskets for the compendio. You know what? Chairperson Garcia on your screens. I'm sure satisfied sa performance sa kanyang kapunan on opening day. Dito lang ang weak link ng Comelec. They are 10 of 24 from the line. Under 50%. This would have been a bigger lead. Had they been better sa kanilang free throw shooting. Imperio, final shot. No good. But the result I will go their way. 101-76. What a first game. Para sa Vanguards. Right in front of chairperson George Garcia. In attendance, Tito Safiel Sports Arena. Outstanding first match here for Comelec Blackers. This was a match that was tight in the first 10 minutes. And then the 22-18. And then the second quarter surge. The separation. And then the third quarter.